Hello and welcome to the second unit of week number two of our open SAP course. It is called conceptual design, conceptual rules broken down into one part that covers say and the other one that covers structure. I would like to start with the say, the message part of success and give you a little overview what we think is important in messaging in reportings. And I would like to come back to this picture, what we have showed you in the, in the benefit part of uh, our course. And the messages really rely only to reports. These dashboards, statistics, tables normally don't have messages, but in reports we do need a message. That's the definition of a report. We report our messages, our ideas, our findings. And we have three levels of uh, these messages. I would like to explain it with a little example. Uh, you see this, this column chart showing net sales and profit from 2007 to 2015. 2015 is uh, the, the last year with a, with a negative um, profit of 50, a loss of 53 million. And we, of course we have a title. So now, now I would like to tell you the three levels of these messages. The first one is we have a simple statement, a detection. Uh, we have an export of 25%. That's a detection. Then we might have the second level, which is an explanation because something happened. And the third level, even on top, would be a suggestion, a recommendation, what we should do in order to change something or to achieve something. So I will start with this detection. The detection could mean in 2015 we expect another 10 million less profit than in 2014. And what is very important here, this has to be highlighted. You see this? I have, I have a little circle on, around this minus 10 million. A million to, to, to underline what I have said. This is a detection, a detection level. Now we talk about the explanation. Explanation means we give a reason for what happened because the growth in Asia fails to appear. And again, we highlight this and show okay, there is 98 million that, which is missing. And the third level would be a suggestion. We say, okay, we should do and arrange and launch the better project and this would lead to much better profits beginning in 2016 and 2017. You see here from here, beginning in 2016-17, we will come back into the, the, the positive uh, profit zone. Okay, this is a brief introduction into, into the message part, into the say part of success. And now I would like to go briefly into the very important part of structure. Structuring our content, structuring our presentation, giving the proper storyline is what structure is about. When you look at this little table, and the first question is, when you talk about structure in the list and a table like this, what is the rank order in this table? You think, well, it might be here the share of sales. No, it is not. It's, then you look at the variance compared to last year. No, it's not. Then you think, well, it might be in alphabetic order. No, it is not. Then you think it might be historic order. Then you see, no, it can't be because there's others here in between. So now we ask us, what is the reason for this ranking in this table? It's difficult to understand. This is a not perfect example of structuring a table. Next example is this uh, dashboard. And you see two structure issues here. On the lower level, you see the top four markets, the top four products, and the top four sales channels. Perfect. Market, products, sales channel. No overlap on the same level, 
clear. This is okay. It's a little angel here. But when I look at what the tabs up here say, countries, sales analysis, and by salesperson, this is completely different. It's not on the same level. It's overlapping. So this is not an example of a good structure. To make this more clear, I would come back to the picture that uh, Jürgen showed us yesterday about uh, the principles of structure. There are three basic rules. When you're coming back to this uh, fresh fruit uh, stand, when you look at this um, basket here of Golden Delicious, this is not homogeneous because there is not only apples in there. So when I say, for instance, Italy, France, Germany, Belgium, Rome, this would be not homogeneous. This is on, on, a different, on a different level. It's not the same type of countries. It's a city in between. The next one is non-overlapping. This is non-overlapping, this example here, because this guy is offering apples and gold delicious, and they overlap. And this is a, a, a quite difficult uh, problem to achieve, and, and lists of contents, and all kinds of tables to try to not overlap the content. And the last one, Jörg mentioned it, mentioned it already, is, is not exhaustive. It is not really 100%. You look at the at the last crate here. There is something missing, and so it's not exhaustive. These are the three basic rules of good or here bad structures. Okay, to to wrap it up briefly, we have in the conceptual part of the success rules we have the say part, which means we have to convey our message, and the last one is structure organize the content properly. This is Say and Structure and tomorrow we will go on with the perceptional rules in the next unit of our course.